Welcome back. It's now 614. Moving on to our morning business report on your Tuesday. Hey, we've got some good news for you. <laughs> Toys R Us is coming back just in time for Christmas. Yeah, you know, but why do I get the, well, not so good news? And yes, there is some not <laughs> so good news. It's that gas prices may not be done going up yet. Surprise, I'm sorry to surprise. Say. I know, I know. Channel 3's Monica Malpass is live at the NASDAQ with those stories and a whole lot more. So good morning, Monica. Good what can morning. you tell us this morning? Good morning, Roger and Nicole. Good morning, everybody. You're right. Gas Buddy is warning that gas prices may go back up right here in the middle of summer vacation season. The national average, <clears throat> excuse me, for a gallon of gas slipped slightly to $4.52 from $4.53 the day before, according to AAA. But the Gas Buddy analyst is warning there are still a lot of potential challenges, including hurricane season and the Russia Ukraine war, of course. Well, the semiconductor shortage means fewer car safety features due in part to a scarcity of sensors. The availability of such optional features as blind spot monitoring systems, proximity alerts, and semi-automated driver aids has also been suspended in some cases. Everything from heated seats to fuel-saving cylinder deactivation systems and touchscreen displays have been removed at times. But here's some good news. As you mentioned, Toys R Us making a major comeback. The toy store brand will be just about everywhere for the holidays this year. Toys R Us will be in every U.S. Macy's in the next few months, part of an expanded partnership with the toy retailer's parent company, WHP Global. The toy stores will range in size from 1,000 square feet in the smaller locations to up to 10,000 square feet. Well, the Dow lost more than 200 points in a late-day pullback yesterday as a busy week of earnings begins. Investors feel earnings may fall short of expectations, but so far today, futures are in the positive territory. The Dow has an implied open up. 222 and the NASDAQ up 89. Live from the NASDAQ, I'm Monica Melpass. Back to you.